Hey everyone and welcome back to Made to Order a la Orden. I'm Chef Z and today we're making Cuban mojo which is also known as a mojo criollo. It's a garlic sauce that's great as a dip or a marinade. If you want to learn how to make this sauce, just keep watching. Mojo is a traditional Hispanic Caribbean sauce that's used as a marinade for meats, fishes, or even as a dip or a salad dressing. You guys have been asking me to show you how to make a bread me, and this is essentially the beginning or the foundation to that. And I'll have more about that in a later video, but for now, to make this mojo, we're going to need some bitter oranges. No worries, if you don't have any, like I don't have any today, just squeeze some fresh orange juice and mix it with some lime juice. You're also going to need some garlic, some thinly sliced white onions, a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of oregano, and a little bit of thyme. And for more details and measurements on what you're going to need, just look right here and I got you covered. To start off, mash your garlic in a pilong or a mortal and pestle with some salt until you create a paste. Now I'm doing it old school, so feel free to use a food processor instead which will make it a little bit easier. This is what your paste should look like. Add the rest of your garlic paste into a bowl along with the other ingredients and give them a good whisk until it's well combined. Mmm, this smells amazing already. Now whisk in some oil. I eyeball this every time and it varies depending on what I'm using my mojo for. Today, since I'm using it for a dip, a fourth of a cup will do. I like to store my mojo in a mason jar and let it sit for a few hours in the fridge before serving. Make sure to use this within a few days or freeze it so that it doesn't go bad. Mojo is practically a must in all Hispanic Caribbean cooking and there are so many different variations to this as well. For example, when I want to use the mojo to marinate un perni or un pollo asado, I'll add a little bit of cumin. Now say that I'm making a salad dressing and I want to have some avocados. If I just add a little bit of vinegar and some oil, it makes the amazing dressing. Now, if I want my dip right here to have a little bit more of a kick, I'll just add some recao. Overall, today I showed you how to make the most traditional mojo, which is really, really delicious. Now, if you have any questions on this recipe, visit my website, ChefZCooks.com, or see the description box below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media. Guys, I'm always cooking and giving out tips, so follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, all over. I'm pretty much everywhere. Hasta la próxima. I'm Chef Z y buen provecho.